一族はさまざまな鬼と戦い成長し力を蓄えていくしかし二つの呪いがそれを阻む一族は呪いのためわずか2年しか生きられず人との間に子をなすこともかなわない命尽きる前に神々の助けを借りその力を子へ孫へと受け継いでいく幾多の生き死にを乗り越えていつの日か阿部の生命を倒せ Students were split among them based on their social class and home region. We now have a sixth class, fittingly titled Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. With all due respect, instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? Is class really that big a deal here in the Empire? What does this have to do with wanting to know about my past? Don't you go lumping him in with you nepotists who get your titles handed to you just for being born. I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios' eyes. I think I'm finally starting to understand. Maybe enrolling in Thoris was the first thing I'd done right in a long time. Each had his or her own reasons, but each ultimately heeded.